So you want to become a programmer, but there's this big question everyone runs into. Should you go to college for it, or can you just learn everything online? Honestly, both have their pros and cons, and there's even a third option most people don't even think about. Let's talk it through, and I will help you figure out what makes the most sense for you. If you're new here, my name is Pete, and my channel is all about helping aspiring programmers like you get started, stay motivated, and actually enjoy the journey. I've been a professional programmer for over 12 years now, working on everything from web development to software engineering. So trust me when I say I've seen it all, college grads, self-taught coders, and everyone in between. Today we're tackling one of the biggest questions out there, college versus online learning. It's not as simple as picking one or the other. And by the end of this video, you will have a clear idea of which path fits your goals, your budget, and your learning style. Ready? Let's do this. All right, let's start by talking about going to college for programming. It's the traditional route that most people think of first, but it's definitely not for everyone. Let's break it down so you have a clear idea. The pros are, first, of course, the structure. Colleges have a curriculum that guides you step by step so you don't have to worry about figuring out what to learn next. Someone picks you up from the hand and guides you through what you need to learn step by step. The second pro is networking. You get to connect with professors, classmates, and maybe even industry professionals, and these relationships can open doors later on in your career. Third, the degree. A diploma from a respected institution can make you stand out, especially if you're aiming for jobs at companies that still value formal education. Now, as for the cons of going to college, this is pretty straightforward. First of all, there's the cost. In the United States, college tuition can run into tens of thousands of dollars per year, and let's not forget the student loans that can stick with you for years. Next, time. A typical computer science degree takes four years, which is a huge, huge commitment if you're eager to start working sooner. Lastly, outdated curricula. Not all colleges keep up with the rapid changes in tech, so you might end up learning things that are no longer relevant in the industry. So college can be a great fit for some, but it's not the only way to succeed in programming. Now, let's talk about the alternative, learning online. This option has completely changed the game, making programming accessible to just about anyone with an internet connection. The pros are, first, affordability. There are many, many platforms like Free Code Camp, Udemy, or Code Academy that cost a fraction of what college does, and some are completely, completely free. You're not racking up tens of thousands in debt, and that's a huge thing. Second, flexibility. You can learn at your own pace, which is perfect if you're balancing work, school, or other responsibilities. Whether it's early mornings or late nights, you are in control. Third, they have up-to-date content. Online courses often cover the latest technologies, frameworks, and tools, so you're learning what's actually in demand right now. As for the cons, let's keep it real. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Learning online requires discipline. Without deadlines or grades, it's easy to lose focus or procrastinate. So in order to follow this learning method, you will need to commit and take it extra seriously. Otherwise, go with method number three, which I will mention in a bit. The next on the cons list is networking. You miss out on the face-to-face -face connections you would get in college, like study groups or mentoring from professors. However, there are ways around this, and I'll get to this in a moment. Finally, the last con is recognition. While the stigma around being self-taught is fading, some companies, not all of them, still place more value on a college degree, especially for more traditional roles. That of course doesn't mean that without a degree, you can't land a job and earn six figures. That said, online learning can be a powerful path if you're motivated and resourceful. Okay, wait, there's one more option to consider. The third option is one that combines the best of both worlds, is what I like to call the hybrid approach. The idea here is simple. Mix online learning with in-person opportunities to create a path that's flexible, affordable, and still packed with value. For example, you could start by learning the basics online using free or low-cost platforms. Once you have a solid foundation, you could supplement that by enrolling in a community college course, a short-term bootcamp, 
or even attending workshops or coding meetups in your area. Leave a comment if you would like some reference to these resources. This way, you still get that structured face-to-face -face experience without the massive price tag of a traditional degree. Another huge benefit of the hybrid approach is networking. By attending local tech events, hackathons, or joining online coding communities like Discord servers or Reddit groups, you're not just learning, you're building connections with people in the industry. And trust me, networking can open doors that a degree alone never will. Finally, this path lets you stay current. You're free to pick courses or events that focus on exactly what the industry is demanding, which makes you more adaptable and relevant as a programmer. So whether you're looking for flexibility, affordability, or just a smarter way to learn, the hybrid approach is worth considering. You get structure when you need it, independence when you want it, and connections that can take your career to the next level. Right, so here's the bottom line. The path you choose depends on you. There's no one size fits all answer. And that's the beauty of it. If you thrive in a structured environment, want a traditional degree for your resume, and can manage the costs, then college might be the way to go. But if you're a self-starter, working on a tight budget, or just prefer learning at your own pace, online learning opens up amazing opportunities. Just remember, it takes commitment and discipline to make it work. If you're like me and enjoy a mix of options, the hybrid approach is a game changer. It gives you the flexibility to tailor your learning journey while still building connections and keeping things affordable. So before you decide, ask yourself these questions. What's my budget? How can time I can commit? And most importantly, what kind of learning environment will keep me motivated? Whichever path you choose, just know this, you can succeed. College degree or not, what really matters in programming is your skills and your passion for learning. The tech world is big enough for everyone willing to put in the effort. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Which path feels like the right fit for you? Drop a comment below and let's chat about it. So, whether you choose college, online learning or a hybrid approach, remember this, there is no right way to become a programmer. It all comes down to your unique situation, your goals and your drive to succeed. What truly matters is building your skills, staying consistent and not giving up when things get tough. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps me make more videos like this one. And if you're not already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on more tips, advice and motivation for your programming journey. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.